Hey guys, it's Saturday, October 12th, and I'm in here with my dad, and he just finally got his first archery buck. Smoked her at 30 yards. She's laying right around the bend up here, so we're gonna go ahead and go get her. What do you think about that, Pop? Number one. First one. Piece Maybe. of cake. <laughs> Pretty exciting stuff, huh? Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna go try to get her and maybe get some pictures before it gets too dark here. Hey, guys, we come in here at about 4.30, and uh, we've been seeing deer in here about 6 o'clock, coming in, feeding on the clover and, and the radishes and turnips. And right on schedule, about 6 o'clock, we had two deer come from our left here and they were trotting and they got in front of the blind so fast that we couldn't get set up on them. They stopped over here just out of, out of range for the bow and couldn't get a shot at them. And then about 15 minutes later I noticed one walking up the side of the screening over here and uh, then I seen a, a nice one, this one here, over here in the radishes feeding. So I had to get him turned in the blind so he could see this way because I had a feeling they were going to feed out the radishes and over here in the clover. And I just got him turned and was trying to get him on the camera. And, uh, it ended up being a 30-yard shot and he hammered her. So what do you think of this bow hunting? I love it. 85 years old. This is his first... Uh, deer with the bow and he used the killer instinct crossbow and put it right down it didn't go 50 yards uh, dead ringer super freak extreme broadhead and there wasn't much of a blood trail because it only went 50 yards there was some pieces of the lung uh, out here but that was about it but did a number on her put her right down and uh, now we got to try to get him a buck First one with the bow, almost lost him two years ago to blood clots, so he hasn't even been hunting. So I love him to death, and I couldn't be more proud of him. And I'm glad I was able to share this with him. I got it on camera, but he was a little impatient, and we needed about three more seconds to get a real good shot at her. But you can see the arrow going anyhow. So it was a great hunt, great experience. And I love it. We came full circle. He was with me when I shot my first one at 12 years old, and now at 85 I'm with his when he shoots his first one with the bow. So that's what it's all about, spending time in the outdoors with your family and your friends. And when it's successful, it's even better. So thanks for watching Inception TV. We look forward to hopefully bringing you some more pots out hunting, and hopefully we'll get them a buck here before the season. I want to take a minute and thank Killer Instinct crossbows. Uh, I got the Ripper 415 this year and my dad fell in love with it. He hasn't ever bow hunted before and he hasn't hunted in the last five years due to health reasons. But when he shot the Ripper 415, he fell in love with it and he said, go get my hunting license and I want to kill a deer with it. And he did just that. He killed a nice big doe with it. So. Killer Instinct Ripper 415. If you're looking for a good crossbow and you can't beat the speed, getting around 400 feet per second, 
it throws them out there and it puts them down. I mean, she didn't get 50 yards whenever she was hit. So, what do you think about that? I like it. Like shooting crossbow, huh? Yes, it is. That's a piece of. That's a wonderful piece of machinery. <laughs> so, thanks to Killer Instinct Crossbows for letting him fall in love with the crossbow and getting out here, because otherwise he wouldn't be out here with me, and I would have never got to experience this. So. Thanks, Killer Instinct Crossbows. Can't thank you enough. Thank you.